Hey guys, so recently I've been busy with a macro keyboard uh, with the USB hub. We have five USBs, or three USB, sorry, um, output with one USB input. And I've been doing a lot of differential pair routing, so I thought I'd make this video on KiCad. How do you make a differential pair? How do you set it up? And how do you route it onto your PCB? As well as how to do a, tr a length match to make sure that lengths are equal. Because that's quite important for differential pairs. So if it's something you guys want to learn, just keep watching this video. Uh, let's begin. So normally with USB devices, you would like it to have a differential pair. So let's, for example, say I connect uh, my D plus uh, to a specific place on a controller that has to be a differential pair. This is just an example, guys. So on the Atmega 32PB, this is not where you plug in the USB. I just want to show you guys how to set up a differential pair. So if you go to update PCB from schematic, this is just the board I've done, uh, one of the projects I've been busy with, uh, but it's not important. So here you can see it connected there to there. So on the left hand side, you can say root, intact routing, so differential pair routing. And you can click on it and it will complain. So in KiCad, one important thing is that all your net net names either has to have a plus or minus at the end or underscore n or p so if i go back and i delete this and i make wire and i make a label d plus d minus so this will also work if i had to go uh, dp or dn so that is the same so d your differential pair in keycad is looking for those so it's looking for the plus minus it's looking for the p and the n so let's try this so we know labels are uh, labels are like nets uh, they <laughs> labels are nets so they just it's a text way of connecting parts so if i go plus yeah Copy this. So that is connected to that, and that's connected. Oh, let's make this D minus. So D minus connected D minus D plus. So if we always save, guys, if we say tools, update, continue. Now you'll see it actually has a name on the connector itself D minus D plus. Now, if we go root differential pair, it will actually start rooting it together. Um, just a quick trip, uh, trip, trip, trick. If you want to go to the next layer, so you can go past this, you just put, push V for via, and there we go. And we can start rooting to our place where we want to be. And then we go via, it will push it not too important now and there we go so now we just route a differential pair but now we have to make sure that these track lengths are identical so it's very important for differential pairs that the track lengths are identical it's like when you think about sending a signal you would like both of these signals to get to its destination at the same time so if one signal has to travel a bit further uh, it's going to get there not exactly the same time so we can make sure that our tracks um, track lengths are matching and I'll show you guys how to do, do that now. Now that we have the differential pair rooted, we can have a look at what the lengths are, how off they are actually by using tune differential pair skew phase. So if you click on it, uh, click on it, don't miss it, you'll see it's 0.994 millimeters difference. That's too short and this is too long. So we can make the shorter one a bit longer. So when you click on it, right click, length tuning settings, and you can make the target skew zero. So it will automatically, automatically do something so that these lengths, the difference is only zero. So if I click on OK. Uh,
and you can see it added this little clink. So if I click on it, it will say 0, 0.00 millimeter. So just to recap, um, you got root, tune, differential pair skews. Click on it, you can see, okay, this is zero now because I had this small little clink here. <laughs> yeah, it's going to add stuff now. Uh, zero, zero, which is perfect. That is how you do a differential pair. I hope it's helpful, guys. Um, I didn't go too much about impedance matching of 50 ohms and things like that. I just wanted to show you guys how in KiCad you can do this differential pairs. Um, so for normal USB 2, it's not that critical. But when you go faster signals, um, then this can become very handy. So also, it's sometimes better not to have too many wires up down. It's allowed, but the faster signal, I don't think it's too good practice. Too good practice. So that's it, guys. Um, so just important notes you have to have your net or your label uh, either end with plus or minus or it has to end with a p or an n so these are the same negative and positive and then when you go to your pcb you can do the interactive routing by, by pressing root at the top and differential pair routing and so to tune it and to make sure your length is exactly the same you can make use of this tune differential pair Guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to make the same type of one for Altium. Altium is a bit different, but uh, same concepts, right? Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll see you guys on our live streams where I'm going to give one-on-one -on -one help um, to anyone who wants help with PCB designs. If you want to know more, just look at our social media. Uh, other than that, guys, let me know as always anything else you want to learn, and else you want to know about KiCad, Altium, and just PCB design in general. Guys, have a fantastic day. A fantastic week wherever you are in the world. Until next time, bye.